We were having a conversation. Uh, we were having a conversation. This kind of, uh, sister, with respect, but you represent a kind of churchianity that is just just getting crushed. You are representing a kind of if, a weak Christianity that cannot stand up to that cannot stand up to ISIS, that can't stand up to jihadis. You, you, am I right in thinking? Am I right in thinking? Last week you sided with Ali Dawa against Hatun Tash. Is that correct? Right. So Ali Dawa, Ali Dawa is someone that will not condemn terrorist networks like Hamas. Do you condemn the terrorists who are attacking Israel? Hamas, Hezbollah, Islamic Jihad. Do you condemn them? Hamas, Hamas, yeah. One second. One second. One second. He he cut me. Yeah? He cut me. Yeah? Okay. He cut me. He cut me. Do you condemn them? Yes. One second. One second. I condemn anybody that takes innocent human lives. Yeah. Good. So do I. So do I. Right Thank you. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. We all condemn that. All all the now, Jews in Israel innocent. Israel is a terrorist state. There you go. So he says Israel's not innocent. So in other words, he is justifying it. He's playing games with words. He said. He said. Listen to what he said carefully. He said, I condemn anyone, anyone who kills innocent people. But is. Israel is not innocent. So in other words, he supports Hezbollah. He supports Hamas. He is someone who justifies the murdering of apostates from Islam to Christianity. No, one second. This is the man that you defended. Ali Dawa, Ali Dawa, Ali Dawa, the man that you defended, justifies the murdering of apostates. Do you agree with that? Do you agree that, that it is okay to murder Christians? Christians who leave Islam. Do you agree with it? Do you agree with it? Do you agree with it? Of course, there's some terrorists they do things they No, 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 you're not even listening to my question. This is my question. Ali Dawa states that he agrees with the killing of apostates from Islam. He's on camera saying it, Mo. He's on camera. Right. Yeah, well, you'll see it on this video. He's going to put a flashback. This isn't part of our religion. There's a reason to it. Yeah, there's a reason why there's a capital punishment because people like you, little weaklings who leave their religion and cause uh, corruption in the land by spreading it, the capital punishment in Islamic law would be applied to you. We have no doubt and we're proud of that. Do you agree with that? I wouldn't agree with any evil. Okay, <laughs> right. Okay. So you okay. condemn no, 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 no. Islamic any teaching? Evil. Yeah. I'm not saying Islamic. I so do you... No, it is Islam. That is Islam. That is Islam. That is Islam. Do you agree? Do you agree that we should condemn that? Do you agree that we should condemn that? I condemn any evil. So should I condemn that? Should I condemn... Right. So, so if, if, if Ali Dawa supports that, should I challenge both the belief and the person perpetrating the belief? I'm asking you the question. Sister, answer the question. If, if I can't, do you, firstly, do you agree that I should condemn such a teaching? No. What I'm saying to no, you that's not my question. Answer my question. Answer your question. If you see those boys, those men that do that, if you see them face to face, like Ali Dawa, like Ali Dawa, who you supported against Hatun Tash. Number one, I didn't support Ali Dawa. Yes, you did. He was there. He was there. Whatever anybody did Muslim long time ago, it's not his fault. He's here today, he's innocent. Do you understand? He's pointing a finger at them, everybody in his here. That's sad. It is the problem Why didn't he push the good news? Why did he tell them about the Jesus? Of... I didn't see him. Supporting Ali Dawa, who calls for the killing of Christians. Who calls for the killing of Christians. You must no, no, no. All the Christians saw you do it. You supported a man who called for the... There you go, she just said so. Why, why I support it. You supported a man who calls for the killing of Christians who leave Islam. One, That's who I, you support. I never heard him anything like that. Yeah, so will you condemn him? If I see him. 
Will you, will, tell him no, in his face. Will you con so when you see when you see Nick when you see this video this conversation we're going to do a flashback where Ali Dawa supports the apostasy law. There's a reason why there's a capital punishment because people like you little weaklings who leave their religion and cause uh, corruption in the land by spreading it the capital punishment in Islamic law would be applied to you. We have no doubt and we're proud of that. Yeah. Are you going to come back next Sunday and, and, and criticise Ali Dawa? Right, so then you'll be doing exactly what I'm doing. No, no, no. no, no, no. Then you'll be doing exactly what I'm doing. No. Hear me. Let me speak. Okay? Go on, sister. Because you were speaking, shouting oh, next no. to me. I could know. Let me tell you, my point, I'm going to make it clearly today. Ah, Even if whatever, whoever does evil anywhere, everywhere, which is we know. You. Speak the truth. I'm speaking the truth. There's so many evil going on in Christianity. We know. Hey. We know. There's priests, there's pastors today, raping children, young children in the church, that's the truth. God knows, Jesus knows, okay? My point is, if somebody did somewhere else, some country, why should this brother get it here? This is his fault. Okay, so let me, let me, let me answer that, let me address that point. But if I hear, no, no. let me finish. If I hear Ali Dawa in front of me, if he said that, whatever, I'm going to kill, or I'm, whatever it is, you would see me speaking to him the same thing I'm speaking to you. My point is, we need to preach love. We need to preach the good news. We need to tell our brother and sister to be safe. But if he condemning them every day with Muhammad with picture, for me that's disgusting. God Muhammad bless. died long time ago. Okay, can I reply now? No, no, wait, I'm not finishing. He died long time ago, okay? Whatever he does, the ugly picture that Ihatun has in her hand, and repeatedly every Sunday she will say to the Muslim, she has not no respect at all. She will say to them, you your Muhammad, you're this, you're uh, what it's, it's, it's all right, Uncle. Don't worry. Uncle, 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 uncle. It's okay. So, sister, sister, can I reply? Can I reply? No, 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 sister. Go on, let, let her finish. But then you let me reply. Because he's going to answer me, okay? My point is, if we follow Jesus, if we follow Jesus Christ, but Jesus, is, you know, he sits with prostitutes, he sat with rapists, he sat with drunkards. Jesus was the friend of sinner. The woman that was caught, caught adultery, they bring her into Jesus. Jesus feet, what did he said? He didn't condemn her. So if he's, if he's our our God, he is we follow him, he's such a real good model. In fact, the Christian they don't even follow Jesus' steps. Many of them sister, can I reply? Okay? What do you but, think about when Jesus Wait, wait sister, so no, sister, let me reply. But no, big sister, because you're just going on and on and on and you're not actually finishing what you're saying. So no one second, sister. One second, sister, sister, I'm going please allow me to reply. Sister, please allow me to reply. Sister, please allow me to reply. So, I, I want to say, sister, to you, I have heard your counsel, and I've heard the reasons for your counsel, and I'm going to reject your counsel, and this is the reason why I'm going to reject your counsel. This is why I'm going to reject your counsel. I am rejecting your counsel. You keep asking people to listen, but you don't listen yourself, sister. So, here's why I reject your counsel. Because the sister herself said, if she heard Ali Dawa say that it was okay to kill, Christians who left Islam, she would condemn Ali Dawa to his face. And that is exactly what I am doing. So therefore, I am not doing anything wrong by the sister's own statement. Furthermore, furthermore, sorry, I'm sorry, sister, I've got to shout because, sorry, because the, the Muslims don't have any manners around us. They don't have any manners around us. This is what Ali Dawa said. So, Ali Dawa ladies and gentlemen, bro, let's, let's Ali just, Dawa so let's just move the camera right. Let's just move the camera right. So, 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 Ali Dawa said to kill those who leave apostasy. That's what he, that's what he said. No, so, I'm going to finish my point. Right, ladies and gentlemen, sadly, no wants to be in front of the camera. He can't have a decent conversation. No demonstrates the example of a pathetic prophet called Muhammad by demonstrating pathetic manners. One second, your prophet, your prophet is pathetic. Your prophet is pathetic. Your prophet is pathetic. And you demonstrate that patheticness. That's what you do. Right now, right now. You demonstrate the pathetic manners of your prophet. It's not him. No. It's on camera. He's just lost his control. 
Yeah. We were all calm until he came. Yeah, I told you earlier. He's not here to debate. He's not here to debate. You've seen him a couple of times. Look, he's, he's still. Be I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you very much. Remove that guy from the park. No, JC, leave it. Leave it. They've got it. They've got it. The police are under control. The peace of the park. So here's why I'm going to reject the sisters' council. Why, boss? Firstly, I want to acknowledge that the sister has come and spoke to me in love. Yes. And I respect her motivation. Secondly, secondly, I want to say, I want to say, I respect the sister's gentle temperament. But I reject, I reject completely her counsel. And the reason why I reject it completely is the following reasons. One, our Lord was not behind the door of having a bust up. He went into the temple, he created a cord of whips, and he had a ruckus with the people in the temple. Our Lord is not some meek and mild doormat. Secondly, our Lord was not behind the door of calling out those that he criticized. Yes, yes. He called them vipers. Yes. Snakes. He called them snakes. Yes. yes. He called them whitewashed tombs. Yes. He called yes. them dead man's bones. Yes. Yes. Our Lord yes. was not behind the door of debate. Yes. Uh -huh. He often debated the Pharisees. Excellent. He often debated the Sadducees. Yes. He often challenged their authority. Yes. That's right. God commands us in the Bible that we should stand up against injustice. Yes. That the apostles teach us that we should fight the good fight of faith. Amen. Amen. The, the apostle Paul lists amongst the champions of faith those who put armies to flight, those who conquered kingdoms. It is not an embracement of Christ. No, one second. No, sister. No, I'm just wrapping up. I've heard your counsel. I've rejected your counsel. No, sister. No, no, I haven't finished. I have not finished, sister. I have not finished. I have not finished. I have not finished. Notice, the, notice that the Muslims are desperate for the sister to speak because the Muslim militants need, need useful idiots. They need doormat Christians. They need limp-wristed Christianity because doormat Christians, limp-wristed Christianity is what will facilitate Islamization. It's what will give currency to Islamic dominance. The sister has good motives. I respect her motives. I love her as my sister. But she is wholly wrong in her diagnosis. She is wholly wrong in her analysis. And she is wholly wrong in her approach to tackling Islam, Islamization, and the teachings of the Quran. And it is no accident that the Muslims are siding with the Christian who attacked Hatun Tash publicly, but then criticized as Christians for criticizing Islam publicly. So she criticizes me publicly, she criticizes Hatun Tash publicly, but she she says we can't criticize Muslims publicly. I think that's telling. No, 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 no. Your turn for a wrap up that's and then we're going. That's one side. Notice, he's silent now. He's silent now. Let her speak, but not me. No, she's a useful tool to you. She's a useful tool for you. That's what it's really all about. A useful idiot is what they're called in politics. Can I speak? Can I speak? Right? Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna answer what Bob said about Jesus. That telling uh, your Bibles, your snakes in the Bible, uh, Matthew 23. Jesus didn't speak like that to anyone unbeliever. He spoke to the religious people, which is they act like one, but, but these they are religious don't. People. Well, these are religious me, people. Let no, no. Us speak. Yeah. You weren't saying that when you were interrupting me. What a hypocrite! What a hypocrite! Okay, number one. So for me, when Jesus was talking, yes, he was angry. The Pharisees 
they believe God, the Jews, and even that's one of my points. We not criticize Jews at all. The Jews that are calling Jesus, they had demon. The Jews that didn't believe he's the son of God. So literally, why can't we speak the truth about them also, instead of just speaking about Islam, okay? Number two, I believe Jesus, he said something when he sees something, he will tell you straight away. But at the same time, he died for the whole humanity. Jesus loves Muslim. He literally appeared to them in dreams. I have many Muslim friends. I grew up with Muslim in back home in my country, and I love many Muslim. Today I spoke to here many brothers here Muslim. But you we know the Bible says wait. God is we angry with the wicked every day as well. Can I? Can I just? Yes. Yes. Mm. So my. Point you weren't saying that when you were interrupting me, you hypocrite. Neither were you, you hypocrite. Hypocrites. Because he's gonna go his way. Brothers, I love you so much for my heart. You're my brothers, okay? My point, you must understand me. My point is Jesus is love. Okay? Jesus came to save. All right? The problem is the way you understand love. That's the problem. I agree. That's the problem. I agree. Don't interrupt me, please. You just take one part. If I see this brother, if I see him doing evil in front of my eyes, I will condemn him. But the way I will condemn him, I'll say to him, brother. Oh, now you condemn him. This is wrong. What are you saying? What you don't is, brother, don't do that. I'll pray for you. Turn away. Repent. But the individual. My point is, we but does that help to anything the for the kingdom? Okay. But if we do bring here, any souls like that. Oh, wait. My point is, my brothers, all of you, for me, all humanity created by God. We need to love one another, okay? But my point. What about is the jihadis? When I say jihadis, <laughs> they, they're not, they're not, they're not loving us. What about the, what about the Muslims that are persecuting Christians, sister? What about the Muslims that are persecuting Christians? You, you thing is, the thing is, the scriptures teach us, the scriptures teach us to do good to all men, but especially those in the house of faith. So if one group is persecuting another group. Are you Muslims are persecuting Christians? You are duty bound to stand against the group that are persecuting the Christians. Yeah, and who's that? Turkish government. And I agree. And I'm standing against both of them. Thank you very much. I condemn both of them. I condemn both of them. But no offense, sister. You're. I, I think that you are a very. Sister, you're, you're living by a double standard. Sister, you're living by a double standard. No, sister, you are living by a double standard because you are saying that we should not. We we should not, we should not be criticizing Muslims, but here you are criticizing Hatun Tash, and here you are criticizing me. So you're living by a double standard. You're living by a double standard. That's the hypocrisy. No, she's not being a hypocrite. She's not pretending. No, it's not hypocrisy. It's a double standard. She she isn't she isn't pretending. She believes this, but it is a double standard. She is, but it's a double standard, sister. It's a double standard. No, no. No, sister, you sister. Are condemning him, you should then condemn them also. But you defended you Ali Dawa, who I called for the killing of Christians. You, you defended you Ali Dawa, who is calling for the killing of Christians. No, he was applauding you in front of you. You accuse the Quran over and over. Is this your problem? No, it's not fine because what you did is you defended someone who called for the killing of Christians. Do you want to do you want to condemn someone who calls for the killing of Christians? Right, condemn Ali Dawa. Do it now on camera. Say Ali Dawa is wrong. Okay, you need to do your search. You do need to do your research. You're, you're defending you're defending people and you don't even know what you're talking about. I would bring him to you. You're defending. He will run away. He will run away. Ali Dawa will run away. Ali Dawa will run away. Sister, sister, brother, sorry, brother. I condemn Turkey. I condemn Saudi Arabia. Yeah, totally. I think I think we should boycott Turkey. I think that we should boycott Saudi Arabia. I actually think that we should overthrow both regimes. Why do you overthrow the Syrian and the Iraqi regime? Exactly. Exactly. If we can overthrow the Syrian and the Iraqi regime, why can't we overthrow Saudi Arabia? Why can't we overthrow Turkey?
Yeah. We're, we're on the same side politically. Yeah, sister, yes. can we just, can we just call... No, no, sister, no, no, sister, because I want to talk about something else now. What you know, you're speaking without knowledge. You are speaking without knowledge. You do not know what Ali Dawa stands for. You defended Ali Dawa. You attacked Atuntash. And Ali Dawa, Ali Dawa calls for the death of apostate. And we're proud of that. What you're doing is a failure in love because you have failed to love your brothers and sisters in Christ. You failed to love the persecuted church. You have failed to love the persecuted church. We'll talk to you in a second. I want to talk to you now. I want to talk to you now. I want to talk to you now. No, this sister needs to go away and do her research. She doesn't know what she's talking about. No, sister, 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 you do not know what you're talking about. You have justified the persecution of Christians in Islamic teaching and by Islamic militants. Who would, put your hand up if you were Ali Dawa state that apostates should be killed. There you go, witnesses. That's the man that you defended. Who has heard Ali Dawa say that killing apostates is what Islam teaches? There you go, witnesses. You are wrong, sister. You are wrong, sister. And you have failed in love. You have failed, sister. You have failed. No, you have failed to love your brothers and sisters. These are your brothers and sisters, and you have failed to love them. And what does the Bible teach? It says, do good to all men, especially those in the house of faith. Especially those in the house of faith. You have failed to love your brothers and sisters. When you attacked Hatun Tash publicly, Yes, there you go. When you attacked Hatun Tash publicly, even though you said that we shouldn't be criticizing Islam in public. No, sister, you need to go away and research. You need to go away and go and research. Sister, you defended someone who called for the murder of your brothers and sisters. You should reflect upon that. You should reflect, so you shouldn't reflect upon that. Condemn Ali Dawa on camera, do it now. I didn't hear him. What? There you go. Oh. You should not condemn Ali Dawa. Because he, he, all of these people have heard him say it. All of these people have heard him say it. Sister, are all these people lying? Are you accusing all these people of lying? Are they lying? We'll talk. I want to talk to you. Please stay. I really want to talk to you. I just want to finish with this sister because she won't stop. Are all of these people lying to you? Right. If then, if you're not saying that they are lying, are they telling the truth? Are you saying you can't accept the evidence of witnesses? I did, but if I heard him. Are you saying that you can't accept the evidence of witnesses? Because if you are, why are you a Christian? Because we accept the evidence of witnesses. You have witnesses that have heard Ali Dawa call for the murdering of Christians who have left Islam. Do you condemn it? Fuck ISIS. Fuck ISIS. Totally. Agree. Fuck ISIS. Fuck ISIS. Fuck Turkish government. Fuck Saudi government. We've let her talk. We've, that's, not your, that's not my problem. Sister, I would like this conversation to stop because I want to talk to this bro. I want to... Sister, I want... No, I want to, this, I want to talk to this bro. Sister, I heard your point and rejected it. Your advice is bad advice, it's based on a lack of information and it represents a kind of Christianity that is only useful to the enemies of the church. Respect her, she's your mother. No, I do respect her, which is why I call her my sister. But, but the thing is, just because she wants to talk to me doesn't mean we have let her speak. And notice, notice, the only ones that are desperate to let are the Muslims. Guys, there is social distancing rules. Yeah. You are not following them. Please spread out. Right back out. Please spread out. Too close. He's just Too doing close. his job. Please spread out. Please spread out. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah. otherwise, this will be stopped. It'll be closed down again. Please spread out. Spread out. Spread out. Please spread out. Spread out. We are. We are. Yeah. Sister, 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 no, no, sister, you need to go away and look at the words of Ali Dawa. Sister, 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 we have heard her speak. We've heard her speak. We've heard her speak. The sister needs to go away and see who she sided with. Last week, when she sided with a man who called for the, the, the execution of Christians. That's who this sister sided with. That's who this sister sided with. Yes, 
pay you a lot. No, sister. No, I want to talk to this bro. Come forward, bro. I want to talk to you. Okay. Sister, the conversation. No, no, no. Sister, no, we're done. Done. JC, let's go. Let's go. What happened there, Bob? Let, let's just address the point that the sister made. Because, because the, the sister, uh, uh, I'm, I'm sure, is working from a good place. Because let's be honest, her comments, her attitudes, her beliefs, they, they actually do sound like a lot of Christians in the West. She, she does actually sound like a lot of Christians we meet in church. The lovey-dovey kind of Christians. The wimpy doormat kind of Christians. Who are the, you, the hippie kind of Christians? These, these kinds of Christians, and don't get me wrong, I know she's coming from a good place. She genuinely believes what she's saying. She feels it from her heart. She's trying to give good counsel. But I reject her counsel, one, because I think it's based on a mischaracterization of Jesus. Two, because by following her kind of spirituality, she actually got into bed with a man that won't condemn Hamas and has publicly called for the execution of Christians. In bed. She has. Yeah, she. We'll talk about. We'll talk with you. Yes, bro. Stay. I, I want to talk to you, bro. There's no need to interrupt. There's no need to interrupt. We're going to talk to you in a minute. Relax. Relax, bro. Relax, bro. Relax, bro. Relax, bro. Bro, have you had too much coffee or something? Relax, bro. No, bro, I'm going to finish what I have to say and then we'll talk to you and we'll talk about it. So, sadly, I've got to raise my voice, unfortunately. I've got to raise my voice because again and again. So what I'm saying to you is, she represents, she represents a kind, her kind of spirituality meant that she got in bed with Ali Dawa, who was publicly called for the execution of Christians who have left Islam, and we all heard it. She was so adamant in her stubbornness that even when presented with witness testimony of countless brothers around her, she wouldn't be corrected. Her spirituality, her spirituality is useful is useful to Islamists. It's useful to those that want to progress Islamization. It is useful to those who are the enemies of the church. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason why as Christians, we should reject the kind of lovey-dovey, gushing kind of spirituality that is embodied in our sister and is embodied in too many of our brothers and sisters, in too many of our fellowships. And we need to get back to a muscular Christianity. A muscular Christianity that is not frightened to stand up to Islam. That is not frightened to take on jihadis. That is not frightened to stand up to Islamization. That is not frightened to stand up to secularization that is not frightened to stand up to liberal progressive thought and that offers an alternative to the weak world limp wristed virtue signaling nonsense that dominates Western society and infects too many of our fellowships. Because we will stand up to the Ali Dawas of this world, our beloved sister, because of her ill-formed spirituality, sided with the Ali Dawas of this world. Hatun Tash did the right thing in criticizing Islam. Hatun Tash does the right thing in challenging Islam. And those that would side with Islamists against Hatun Tash need to reflect upon whether they are embodying the principles of Jesus who called us to love and to serve one another and the apostles who said do good to all men especially those in the house of the faith. You cannot side with jihadists and Islamists and love your brothers and sisters. God loves everyone but God's love is not neutral. The way that you love your wife is not the same as the way that you love all women. God says, love everyone. That is true, the sister is right. But God loves his bride, the church, and he favors his bride over all others. 
just as he favoured Israel over all others. So love is not neutral. Love is not equal. We might love all people, but that doesn't mean that we love all people in the same way. Ali went then on to say that after the Christians had invaded those lands, that those that fight the Muslims are bad Christians. So in other words, any Christian who defended his family, his village and his children was a bad Christian. The only good Christian to Ali Dawah is a doormat Christian. Perfect.